Here we are. Welcome back. Beverage Barrage, foodies, good guys and gals of the Nisto Bros podcast. I'm out in public. Uh, this is crazy. It's been uh, seemingly forever since I've done an episode out in public. Uh, the music is a little loud here, but I'm going to pull through. It's a little empty in here, so I'm scared. I don't want to project too much. But I'm here, I'm, I'm in public, I, I can't believe it, it's so great. Um, we're here, it's, uh, it, I'm, I'm looking forward to this, we'll talk about it more. We're here, Flippers Pizzeria, in downtown Orlando, here we go. All right, so Flippers Pizzeria here in downtown Orlando, I was told by many, many sources at school, full sale. Uh, I was told by many people that this is the closest they've had to New York pizza. And obviously there was one episode, we're not gonna talk about it, we're not gonna name drop them anymore because they suck. Boo, but you stink! That's big shoes to fill. So initially I walk in and I was a little, I was unsure. Cause like, first of all, before I even walk in, Finding the damn place was nearly impossible. It's in this like community area. It, it was bizarre, bizarre. But it was like very nice area. Once I found it, a little bit easier. So, uh, yeah, as soon as I walk in, they I ask if they have individual slices. They don't. So I had to get my own personal pie. And uh, I'm gonna do, uh, so I got half and half. I got plain, I had to do plain. And I got barbecue chicken. As everyone knows by now, that is my favorite uh, specialty slice. So what I'm gonna do for the Nisto Eats episode, I'm gonna do just the plain, and I will do, I will have the barbecue chicken off camera, and I'll talk about it more tomorrow on the podcast, where we are gonna be doing, of course, the Spanish-German guessing game. You don't wanna miss out on that. But a little confused, cause, I mean, first of all, it looks good, but, it's only cut into fours, which is, this could definitely be cut like one more way, this way. It's fun to stay at the YMCA. Yeah, so, uh, a little confused by that. Um, customer service, very, very nice. The woman that helped me didn't catch her name, but she was very nice. But um, we do a little split ski, thin crust. I feel it already, thin crust. Just got out of it. Everything here they said is uh is made fresh, like it's big time. Okay, so all right, I don't feel good about this one. It's a little greasy, so I'm gonna try this other side here. Not too floppy. We everyone knows you saw you saw that one episode when I'm talking about that place. Super floppy, super covered in grease. It's bad, <clears throat> and I'm not trying to rip off the importantly for you know pizza, but. And down in Florida, I'm looking for New York pizza, all right? So, obviously, he's very inspirational. He's someone that I, uh, is why I started doing this. So, this is not trying to rob him in any way, shape, or form, just to be clear. Uh, Taste Bud's about to explode. Uh, Flippers Pizzeria, Orlando. Very, very hot. Still very hot. Three bites, bite, bite, and then a little bit of crust. I'm gonna go one more. Thank you. It's ridiculous. That's just, that, that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. First episode back in public. <clears throat> And I'm already being interrupted on the set again. And you me with a bite full of that, a mouthful of stuff. Also, I apologize, I'm having a bad hair day. Um, <clears throat> if you guys saw it on my personal, um, haircut might be coming soon. Just so I'm gonna throw that out there, a little, little teaser. But um, I'm gonna do one more bite and I'm gonna give it a grade. And I'm gonna fully dissect this because I haven't talked much about it. way better than that first place that I tried. 
Don't even want to give them name credibility ever. <clears throat> this, this is good, okay? This is good. Um, I feel like I'm back home almost. The size of it, being in it is like a personal pie, it, it, it takes away from that. It's not like, you know, the big triangular slice. It takes away from that a little bit, which is unfortunate, but it, it, it's more about the taste. And, oh man, I, I'm, I'm just, I'm, it doesn't take a lot, but I'm at a loss for words because I'm just so happy that this actually tastes like New York style pizza. So the people that told me this is the closest they found to New York style pizza, uh, or taste wise, because the style obviously not, because you get the big triangular slices, but taste wise, um, they're they're on it. This is close, and I'm very very happy. Um, I'm very curious about the barbecue chicken. I think there's actually bacon on it as well, which is you know extra nice to look forward to. Um, I think I actually since I have the menu here, the barbecue chicken, um, it can confirm. There is bacon on there. There, there's a. It says on there red onions, but I got that without the red onions, uh, just for that to be known. But again, I'll talk about that more on the podcast tomorrow. Um, as for the plain slice flippers pizzeria, I I agree. This is close to New York, not New York style or not New York flavor. But of course, that's almost impossible unless you're in New York. Um, but great wise. I'm, I'm very, very happy. I'm going with, I'm going to go with a, okay, so I'm, I'm torn if I want to give this over an eight, but I don't think I'm going to for the sole reason of the no individual slices, not the big triangular slices. I mean, I reckon if it was the regular size pie instead of a personal size pie, it would be those sizes, but um, individual, not having individual slices has always been uh, something that I've never really liked in pizza places um so i'm gonna give it under an eight for that but i'm still going 7.7 .7 for this 7.7 .7 flippers pizzeria orlando thus far i've only had two places here um and this is the closest to new york i'm very excited i'm very excited to finish this and frying this barbecue chicken with bacon on it uh, I can't do it too loud, but should be 